In this video, we're going to look at storing your PDF for your digital download inside Amazon S3. Now, Amazon S3 is the simple storage solution provided by Amazon. They also have the CloudFront network and a vast of other tools inside the AWS service. So what I have done initially, I've logged into my account. You'll obviously need to get yourself an Amazon account for this or an, and also an Amazon AWS account. And the pricing structure is really based on how much you use it and the files that you store and transmit through the, um, through the Amazon cloud service. So this is the simple storage service, service for this example. I'm using S3, it's their simple storage service. They also have CloudFront, which is when you distribute your files through all these different servers on the web. So it can get quite technical. Um, there's different, obviously, pricing tiers for different file types and folders. For small downloads, PDFs and things, the S3 service is fine. It's not going to cost you much money at all. You know, you can have, I think it's something like, it used to be $0.16 cents per gigabyte. I don't know what the exact pricing is right now. But that's what the cost was to store and then transmit. So you're looking at sort of pennies if you're and delivering sort of a, you know an average amount of downloads if you increase that number then great you're obviously you know you're building up your email list and also you're delivering files and maybe you're making sales and delivering files and stuff so you'll cover the costs it's a very very cost effective service um s3 lots of platforms have been built off you know the back end their back end is actually being amazon s3 like like the likes of dropbox and things but now obviously dropbox have gone on and built their own servers and stuff but S3 is a great platform. It's just a bit technical. So in the screen here that you see, um, I've created, I already have a bucket in here. These are called buckets. And then inside buckets, you can have folders. And buckets can only be in you know, a certain name and structure and things. So it can be quite complex inside here. This is why a lot of people don't use S3. Um, but I'm going to just show you. I've created a bucket, my name, and I've created a folder called test inside this bucket as well. So a bucket is really a folder. It's just the terminology that Amazon are using inside the S3 platform. Now from here I can click on the upload and I again I can obviously add files or I can drag over and if I drop this here and drag it you'll see the files appeared there and uh, there's actually a space in that file name and I'm going to change that because Amazon are quite funny about spaces in names and things so I'm just going to remove that. Uh, okay, it's already been named, so I'll just remove the space between the two down here. So I've dropped it in there, and then I'm going to click Start Upload, and it'll go ahead and upload the file. Now, one thing with Amazon is, or the Amazon S3, and you might find you create a folder or you create a bucket, and it's not working instantly. Sometimes you have to wait for it to update across their servers. Uh, that definitely works with the CloudFront. When you make changes inside there, they have to distribute your changes across their entire network before you know things come live. So, um, if you do notice you're doing things and things aren't happening instantly, that's because you know it has to be the settings have to apply across the entire network that Amazon own, which is pretty big, as I'm sure you're aware. So, here you go. Here's the file. If I click on it over on the left here, we've got the settings sort of over on the right, and if I go to none or if I go to properties, here is the um, link that file so i've selected on the left here's the link to it on the right but at the moment you'll see there's a little padlock and this is telling me that this file is locked if i click on it it opens up and you'll see this um sort of xml message here so this is basically what people see if they don't have access to a file or if the user hasn't um, set the permissions of the file inside amazon s3 now to set the permissions we simply go down to permissions here and you see it's got my name and we've got the selections of different permissions here. And if I choose add more permissions and I want to choose everyone and I'm going to choose open and download, I'll tick that. Oops. And then I'll click save. So what that's done now is allowed that everyone to open the file and download the file as well. So if I go back here. And I'll refresh. You see, I've clicked none and properties. Now you'll see there that's changed from a padlock to blue. And if I click on that, and there we have it. There's the file. Now, hundreds of marketers online, a lot of people deliver files through Amazon S3. You'll notice this link at the top showing here S3, and it's showing the bucket names and stuff. And that's where the file is stored. You might have seen this before S3. 
that's what it is. It's the simple storage solution by Amazon. And it's a great place to store lots of um, files that you have. You can manage stuff in there and it's very, very cost effective. So that's it. This is the file I want to copy. This is the link. So I can copy it from here or I could copy it back in the console here. You know, I could control and click and copy this link. And then I'm going to go back to my notepad. And I'm going to drop that into here. So there is my link for my online storage with Amazon S3. Now I've got, um, obviously there's four ways. I've got the four here. So have a look at it. It can be a bit technical, Amazon S3. I won't go into all the details of setting up the account creation buckets and things, um, but it is a very cost effective solution if you, you know, you're on a budget and you're trying to um, you know, deliver a lot of files. They also have their cloud network, which is massive. And it then means if you are delivering larger files, uh, it, it's location-based delivery. So the file will get delivered to the nearest server from that user. So if someone's in America or the UK or in Europe, it'll choose the nearest server um, to deliver the file from. That's using the cloud front inside Amazon. So it's a great service, gets technical. Have a look at it in your own time. But that's the link we want. This is it uploaded. This is the link we want to link to our download page further on in this article.